Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, we have a brand new update to One UI 6.0 beta number two has arrived. So let's look at all the new features and changes. So I'm gonna go to the settings real quick, and if I go all the way down, and if I go to software update, and if I tap on last update, here's the change log for the whole thing. I just finished this update real quick at the bottom. You can see this is a sizable update. It is 1.6 gigabytes. It's got the security patch for September the 1st, and it's got a whole bunch of bug fixes. You can see they're listed right here. We're gonna come back and look at these. And also we have a bunch of new features. So let's see exactly what is going on as far as new features are concerned. Now if I go to my settings real quick, and if I go inside the settings, we now have the predictive back option enabled so look at this as i swipe back it actually shows me what i'm going back to okay so this doesn't usually happen it just goes back to this area but now if i'm in a setting and if i'm going back it shows exactly what you are going back to as an animation now this option is a feature of android 14 and it sits in developer options so if I search for predictive, let me see, okay, it's going to show up right here, predictive back animations. I can turn them on and off right here at the bottom. So if I turn this off, it doesn't show me where I'm going to, as you can see. But if I turn it on, okay, now it's going to show me where I'm about to go to. So that's a new feature that has been activated as well. There's now a standalone studio application. So let me just tap on search and go for studio. So this studio application is the built-in movie editor now comes as a separate application. Now if I launch this, you can see it drops me into the home screen from where I can work on my existing movies I was editing or I can start a new project. I can also go to the settings on the top here, tap on settings and there's a couple things here that I can do. We're gonna come back to all this. But when you tap on start a new project, okay, that takes you into your gallery. Inside the gallery, I can go into a specific album or I can pick specific photos. For example, let me just pick this video, this video, this photo, and this photo, and then I can tap on done, and that creates a brand new project where I can actually start to edit movies and make a movie. This is like the iMovie for Apple. It's not gonna be as advanced as of now, but hopefully they're gonna be adding many more features. For example, on a single clip, I can tap on it and I get all these options at the bottom. For example, changing the brightness, the exposure, uh, adding some filters, making that clip slower or faster. And you can see, I can go to the next clip right here, I can click on it, I can delete that clip, and then when I'm done, I can actually tap on done to save the project and also export the project as a movie. If I tap over here, I can go to project settings and I can change the aspect ratio. I'm sure they'll be adding more settings as this app gets more attention. So if I tap on done, let me just tap on done. You can see that's the My Movie, and I can save the movie by tapping here, and that's gonna export the movie that I just edited and produced, and then I can watch it as a standalone video file. It goes to my gallery. So that's number one. Number two, they have made some changes to the not notification area. You can see all these icons are gonna match exactly what the app icon is. So that's great. Let me just go down here so you can see all these icons match exactly what the app icon is and it looks a little bit cleaner. Nothing major here but they but they made some changes. Now inside the camera, if I go to the camera, you can see that I can swipe like this to change the camera modes to the front facing camera or if I swipe down it goes into the rear camera. Now you can go to the settings, okay, and I'm glad they added this feature you can turn off that swipe up and down to switch cameras. So if I turn this off and go back, okay, you can see I can no longer switch cameras by swiping up and down. So that's another feature in the camera application. Now one more thing, when you go to the gallery application, so you go, if I go to gallery and if I delete a photo or a video file, it goes into my trash bin, which is right here. So if I tap on the trash bin, you can see it is right here, something I just deleted. Now what they did was, they took this trash 
and they integrated this trash into the My Files application. So if I go to My Files application, and if I go to Trash at the bottom here, you're gonna see all those gallery items show up here, so you can manage My Trash for the entire phone and the gallery right from the My Files application. Now one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, if I go back into the gallery right here, okay, see when I tap this, it gives you the option to go to studio. So that's the application we just talked about. They have connected the application directly uh, with the gallery application. Now one more thing, if you go to Samsung health application, they have supposedly changed the entire layout to make it more user friendly. So those are some of the new features. Let's go back to the settings over here. By the way, nothing changed in the quick notifications panel. It's the same so far. So let's go to the settings. I'm gonna go all the way down, tap on software update, last update. Now you can see we went over a bunch of features. So these are the new features. Samsung health application looks a little bit new. With the camera, we are able to turn off, swipe up and down to switch cameras that we talked about. We have the addition of the video editor, the studio video editor as a standalone application. And then there are some enhancements to Samsung Pass, which is great. And we talked about the quick panel. We have the enhanced layout for notifications. So each notification appears as a separate card. As you can see, the icons match the actual app icon. So that's that, we talked about that. We have the drag and drop with two hands Feature. They also applies to the calendar application and the Samsung internet application. Okay, and then we talked about the integrated trash with gallery and all that stuff. And then over here, you can pause and see all the bugs that have been fixed that were most common. There was some sluggishness, some reset issues, some S Pen problems, some home app crash problems. All that stuff has been fixed and I can tell you the actual thing just feels much more smooth and fast than before, which makes sense. It's a sizable 1.6 gigabyte update. So apps launch nice and fast. They go down nice and fast, as you can see, nice and smooth, all right? And that's it for this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right?